Guess what, folks? Listen, I know you read that title and you was thinking like, what? Mexican cornbread? But I got to say this. I got a video out there called Creole Cornbread. And it's running rampant right now. It's been running rampant for the last couple of years. So listen, you want to talk about his rival? That's just Mexican cornbread. Let's get it. Here go all the ingredients right here. Let me bring everything over here so you guys can see it. We're going to obviously put this in this 13 by 9, you know, casserole dish right here. Look, we got cornmeal and we got flour. Mexican blend cheese. You're going to need a little bit more cheese because I like to put a little cheese on the top, right? Kind of like when you say Mexican, you think of something a little bit on the spiky side. So why not, folks, have that jalapeno, right? We got two hen eggs. We're going to melt this butter. Now you guys can use whole milk, whatever kind of milk you want to use, but I'm using whipping cream, right? So listen, that right here, we got cream style corn, and then we got cream, I mean, then we got a corn, you know, like the kernels, right? This right here is a little bit on the uh, optional side. I like to still put some of that in there along with this because it's separate. This right here gives it like a unique taste. Trust me, folks, this is fire. Let's go. Now, first thing we're going to do is, look, you're going to need to get yourself two bowls, right? Look, you got large, small. We're going to start with the small, right? So I'm going to keep it real simple. And just to show you how simple it is, you see how I gathered this over here like this? We got butter, we got our milk, and then we got our eggs, right? And don't forget, we got our cream corn, right? So we call, I put all these ingredients together. I got my small bowl right here. We want to put all of this in here. And don't forget, the full ingredient list will be on my website, smokingandgrillingwithab.com, and that's W-I-T-A-B.com. Right, so let's go ahead and get these eggs in. Okay, after the eggs, now listen, when you're making your wet, I want to tell you this, it's no particular order, right? I don't know, it seems like the way I'm talking, like you got to put this in first. I don't care how you do it, let's just get it in, folks. Now, let me open, you know, my cream corn and let me melt my butter. All right, then I'm going to add my butter. I want to get all my butter. You know, butter, man, that's that, that buttery flavor. I don't want to leave none of that flavor behind, right? Let me put this in there. And now we'll come with the cream corn. And I got it. Some of y'all right now, your brain telling you something way out. You're like, I can't see it. Oh, yeah, you can see it. Well, you know what? If you can't see it, I'm going to say it this way. You can dang sure taste it. I mean, it's, it's fire, folks. I don't really put nothing on my channel that ain't. You know what I mean? The uh, only thing difference is we just got to quit looking at everything, you know, and doing it. Like, I hear a lot of people say they don't like cream corn. You know what I mean? Uh, but there's certain things that you can make with it. You know what I mean? People don't even know what's in there, and they just like, ooh, that's fire, A.B. Right? So, as you see, you just get your whisk, and this is your wet. All right, so now that we have our wet done, now we take our larger bowl, then you want to add all of the rest of your ingredients. It don't get no easier than that, right? So, I'm going to go ahead and just start dumping. Now, I'm going to say this part. Pay attention to the instructions. Listen, there's a difference. We're using baking soda and we're using baking powder. One is two teaspoons, the other is one teaspoon. You know what I mean? Now, that's very crucial. I don't want you guys to get that, you know, com confused. That way you have some kind of weird type taste, right? So we got a Mexican blend, you know, uh, cheese. We're going to add that. Right? Now, cornmeal, real simple. One cup cornmeal, one cup flour. Cornmeal. Now I made this video, well I'm making this video a little bit more so like how I cook. You know what I mean? Usually I have everything, you know, broke down, but this is a cool way. You know, you can put this, this way I can grab it and then I can put it up. All right. Same thing with the flour, one cup. Now, I'm only gonna put one jalapeno in here. I'm gonna put the larger one, you know what I mean? So let me go ahead and cut this down. Cut this off the top. Cut it down the middle. And if you guys didn't never know, you know how to go ahead and do it. You know what I mean? You take it like this, take a small spoon and just run it down the middle like this. And then always remember, I have gloves on, but make sure you don't touch your eyes. 
or nowhere else is sensitive to you. You know what I mean? Because this will get you, folks. Now, for those of you guys that like to have a whole lot of heat, you can add some of those seeds to it, or you can just add another half, right? It's up to you how you want to do it. For me, one jalapeno is good. It's still kid-friendly. You know what I mean? Uh, just nice. Just trust me, folks. You'll find yourself torn between the Creole and the Mexican. All right, so listen. Somebody was telling me, hey, A.B., put on your big boy pants and go ahead and use both of them jalapenos. So you know what? Let's go ahead and do it, right? So I'm going to go ahead and cut these down. And it's funny how when you start working with a jalapeno, you know what I mean? Uh, I promise you, your eyes get to itching. But don't fall for it, folks. All right, now that I got my jalapenos done, look. I'm going to do it this way, folks. Because we put our dry ingredients in here, I'm going to go ahead and give this a little you know, mix myself, you know. Now, sometimes I put the cheese in later after it's all mixed combined, but ultimately, I got a big whisk. You can see it's open, you know what I mean? Uh, it'll do it. So once we have it like that, now we just go ahead and introduce our wet to it. Now we go ahead and just combine it all together, right? Just keep bringing it around like that. It'll start to thicken up for you. Look at that. See how I'm turning it? Let me try to do it this way so you guys can see it better. See how it all, all the dry is over there? But as I just keep moving it around, it starts to thicken up. Look at that. Now we incorporate it, folks. Then you know what we finna do. We finna add them jalapenos. Now, I don't know if I had said this already, but you wanna make sure your oven is at 350 degrees, you know? But I know you guys been to the website, printed it out, got it on your phone, did a screen print or save, you know what I mean? So I know you already knew that 350 degrees is what you need. And you see how you see that in there like that? Look at that. Yes, sir. Now, these whole current, look, this whole corn, kernel, sweet corn, it's up to you if you want to put it in there. I'm going to put about half a can in the inside. All right, so that's cool enough for me. I know if a little liquid get in there, it's okay. But you see this right here? This is what you want. Now you'll start to see it. It'll remind you, your brain should be saying something like fiesta. You know what I mean? Uh, but this is the way it go, folks. Now, what I'm going to do is get my spatula running around the edge. Then I'm going to grease my 13 by 9. I'm already hot, and we're going to put this in there, folks. Now, what you want to do is you want to grease your 13 by 9, right? So give it a little shake. We don't want nothing sticking. Yes, sir. Now, let me just get it like this so you guys can, you know, see it. We start at one end and we just work our way down. All right, so once we got the cheese on top, now that's optional. You, don't, you guys don't have to do that, but I like to do it. You know what I mean? Then we put it in at 350 degrees. We're going to set a timer for 30 minutes. It usually goes about 35 minutes, but I like to check it at 30 minutes. Stick that uh, toothpick in it. When it comes out dry, then we do it. All right, so listen, my timer went off. Right at 30 minutes, I checked it. It was a dry. I'm gonna bring it right here so you guys can see it. I let it go about another five minutes only because I wanted to go ahead and brown that top. You see how I started browning right there? You can see the cheese that we sprinkled on the top, right? And just so you guys can see it, I hit it right here. We wait a minute, then we bring it up like this. And there it is. Super clean, folks. Now what I'm getting ready to do is just take my toothpick, you know, put some holes in it. You know, just like you see. I don't care about the cracks or none of that. This right here is going to be fire. And the reason I'm doing this, because this is a little bit of a level up for you guys. You know what I mean? I went ahead and melted a little bit of butter. And just pour this right over the top like you see. And let it work its way in. You know, in some of them crevices.
Okay, so listen, I done took all the pictures. You guys already know that because you didn't already seen the thumbnail, right? So listen, if you come in here, you take a look. Let me just show you what it looks like in the inside. And I just want to show you how moist that is. Come on in here. Come on, because it don't do it no justice. You got to get in here and look at it. Look, it's just like super moist. Cheers, y'all. Mm. I'm about to go to work, folks. And when I say work, I mean I'm about to go to work on this cornbread. Now listen. The cream of corn, I know everybody say what they say, do what you do, yada, yada, yada. Hey, try it, folks. Please, trust me. Listen, you need all, it's the combination of everything we put in here. And then that hint of that jalapeno. Oh, my goodness. I could have put some more cheese on the top. Hey, anyway, I don't want to overtalk it. You guys try it. Let me know in the comment section below. And you know what? I'm going to be honest with you. The whole time I was like, uh, my mouth still water. I'm like, man, I could have put a lot of bacon bit in here too. But we'd have been losing that, uh, that Mexican talk. You know what I mean? I won't be able to give it that title. Now, let me know down in the comment section below. Uh, I'm trying to think, what would I pair this with? Outside of like chili, anything that you're gonna eat cornbread with, if you're looking to do something different, this right here is it. So you got a rotation, you can do sweet. You know what I mean? I got that, that honey sweet cornbread. And then we got this right here, that Mexican cornbread. And then it stands on the top of the pyramid. That's that Creole, you know, that Creole uh, cornbread. Now. If you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there, listen, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And guess what, folks? It's chili time. I'm out. Peace.